Good YouTube, back with another quick video. Yeah, dig. Hey man, hope everybody doing good. Hope everybody's blessed, never stressed. You know, doing their thing and whatnot. I ain't gonna keep it long today. We are gonna get right to it. Today we're gonna be trying out something we ain't tried yet. We're gonna be trying some fatty. Yeah, dig. B flex fatty that is. Um, I got a few sheets of some B flex fatty from Joe over there at the Vinyl Stand. Um, if you haven't already. Hit the link in the description, take you right over to the vinyl stand, check out all the dope products they got, including this B-Flex Fatty. We've already uh, tried the, the uh, B-Flex Gimme 5 in previous videos, which is awesome, great feel, low temperature press, quick and easy, four seconds out the door. You dig? If you haven't already, check out that Gimme 5, y'all. I'm telling you, it keeps things moving, keep production going. You dig? But anywho... We here talking about this fatty today, so we gonna get back to the fatty today, indeed. So hold on to after the intro, we are gonna get into uh, cutting and pressing this fatty, indeed. Oh, before the intro, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that. Go over to Facebook, join the Make Some group over there. We having a good time, sharing products, ideas, all that. But y'all hang on, we will be right back, indeed. Alright, like like I said, we got some B Flex fatty couple sheets here. Um we got we got yellow, we got white, we got uh we got black, well black, we got red, and we got gold. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a band with you one honey on. I'm banging with this gold this evening. We're gonna go ahead and take this design we already got set up in the cricket design space. And we're gonna cut this fatty on cricket today. Now the B the B flex fatty, um, I've never used it before, but when I when I, as I hold it in my hand, it has a very similar feel to um like a brick. So I'm gonna cut this at light card stock. I believe that's the recommended anyway. But on the cricket, we're gonna cut this on light card stock and um see if that work out. So y'all wanna cut it? Leg out. Alright, so we over here in my little, you know, cutting station <laughs> and whatnot. So here I have I have the cameo and I also have the cricket. Well, like I said, I'm gonna be working with the cricket today. Um cameo videos coming soon. Give me a little bit, man. I got you. Cameo videos coming soon. Um, cause I I really gotta step up my um silhouette, my silhouette usage, man. I'm I, it's my, my old faithful cricket over here. But anywho, like I said, we're gonna cut the fatty yaddy yaddy <laughs> on like card stock. So let me grab me a mat which I need to clean, which is gonna be another video. Grab my fatty. So you wanna cut it. This is the back. So um you wanna cut it with the back facing up, of course. Like I said, this fatty is available at the vinyl stand. Uh holla at Joe over there at the vinyl stand, link in the description. Yeah D. So I got my I got my design pulled up and ready to go in design space on my iPad. So I just need to place this up here. Like so. Y'all know how it go. Turn your dial. Like cardstock. Boom bada bing bam. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I'm gonna put some tape on these edges, man. Cause I don't like how they flipping up. Well, I could use a better mat, but we just gonna rock with this. Cause we keep everything a band around here. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I'm gonna get a better mat. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, do it till you satisfied. Do do it till you satisfied. All right. Put that right there. You gonna stick up here real good. All right, boom. But yep. All right, so we're going through. We're gonna run this on the light card stock. This is just a, a simple design. One, well, it's two words, but one color, simple design. Hit your cricket button, get it rolling. You did. We're gonna come back when she's done. I'm not gonna let you sit here. You know what I mean? But there she is working. On that fatty, 
All right, I play too much. But yeah, we had to get the silhouette going, man. Let's turn around because she's beautiful. Where's the on button? Okay. See, I love it when it when it comes on. Lights up for you real nice. But oh, cameo. She's sexy, man. Don't get me wrong. I just gotta spend more time with her. We gotta spend some time. Well, all right, y'all. I'm gonna be back after this cut. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be back when this cut is done. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna start vlogging on y'all in a minute. You guys want to take a little room tour while we're waiting? See how it's crazy because this this side of my room is light. And right here you got my sublimation printer. DTF, which is, well, you know, next video. I'm coming, guy, I promise you. You know what I mean? Got the final. I also got something back here in the works y'all don't know about. It's exclusive. You see what that say? Yeah, that say make some. On the way, you see it. Heat press. Got my little uh, computer set up here. Humble abode. She coming along though. But yeah, we'll be back. Let this cut out. Yeah, it is. Alright, so the cut is done. You can't really see it, but she cut out in that thing. Uh, let's see if it cut out on the light card stock. Let's grab some scissors. Cut that thing out. Let's see what's cracking lacking up in here. Alright, so this is all this is all I cut out. This is this is the design. Two words. You know what I mean? But I want to keep it simple. It's gonna have that dimension, but I wanted it, my first design with it just to be simple. So we all know how to weed, John Zwee. <laughs> Get into this fatty yaddy yaddy, fatty for daddy. Alright. Let's see. Did I cut that wrong? I cut the wrong side. Yeah, I did. This is the carrier. Yep. Alright guys, so I cut the wrong side of the fatty. Let my mistake you know, be your lesson, because the show is my lesson. So, this is the carrier sheet on top of this, and I thought it was the back of the vinyl. That's my mistake. I'll share that with you. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to flip it over, and um, we're going to cut the shiny side. You know, usually with vinyls, it's usually shiny side down. So, remember, with this fatty, shiny side up. Yeah, it did. So, let me cut it, y'all. I'll be right back. Please forgive me. <laughs> All right, so take two. Action. Boom. So got my image cut out on the correct side this time. Let's weed it out. Let's weed it. All right. Got my corner pulled up. I prayed at this. Uh-oh. See? So... I think I messed uh, Yeah. Like hard stock might be too deep. Alright guys, so the recommended settings that I got for light card stock didn't work. Um Alright, so here's where we at. Tried to cut out this fatty on light card stock with the cricket. It cut it too deep. So I dialed it back just one dial to iron on plus we're gonna, we're gonna see if that works that's what the cricket doing right now so that's what we waiting on sometimes you gotta play with your machines like this like a lot of people hit me up asking me about settings but it really depends on how sharp how dull your blade is what kind of blade you have in the machine so everybody experience is going to be different but this is when you troubleshoot and things like on the cameo if i if i did on the cameo i could have did a test cut which you can also do your own version of a test cut on the Cricut as well. But I didn't do that. It's all good. That's how you figure stuff out. So take my mistakes and you use them to your advantage. Yeah, it did. But we're going we're gonna to let this finish up and then we'll be right back. Weed it out, hopefully. Move on. Yeah. All right. Let's try this again. This is cut on Iron On Plus. What you look like, that's what did it. 
gotta be careful. I'm lifting up parts I need to keep though, so let me take my time. I mean, for it to be like a three-dimensional feel, it weeds really easy, but I still, the carrier's not sticky, so I don't want any parts to come up that's not supposed to. Let's see, it looks like some of my image, yeah, that A, that little A is real suspect. All right. Oh, it came up real. Yeah, that's what I don't like about non-sticky carrier sheets. So it seems like the Iron On Plus work. All right, so it seems like the Iron On uh, setting work is weeded out. But like I said, the only thing a lot of times with these specialty materials, they don't come with like a sticky backing. They don't come with a sticky backing, so if you, like, if you pull one of these letters up, it's no sticking it back down. So that's what happened with this A right here. It's uh, It came loose a little bit, but I'm going to place it on the shirt. But the design says naturally dope, which it is. I got to weed out the cavities. Uh, this material, honestly, I thought it was going to be similar to brick but it's not as similar as I think as I yeah. it's not as similar as I thought it was gonna be these cavities out of here all right so we all weeded out um I can't really lift it up because like I said my a is loose up here it didn't stick to the carrier sheet it cut out so I mean that's still the setting I was just a little rough with this a which I shouldn't have been but um let's get it pressed Get it. And the settings that I saw for the fatty was between 285 and 300, which is really low for 15 seconds. So I'm going to go with 300 and I'm going to do 16 seconds because I'm just weird with odd numbers. So we're going to do 300 for 16 seconds. Let's go over to the heat press. Get it. All right, so we're over at the heat press. I like to bust out. I'm going to do my pre press. <laughs> get the moisture up out the shirt you know what I mean you don't want it's hard it's hard for things to adhere to a wet shirt you know you need a dry you need pull that thing up like that I like to bust out my ruler you know just you know back up so this is going to be the tricky part with these loose letters now this ain't gonna happen to everybody this is just my experience cutting it so when you weed this, I suggest like, you know, keeping it low and tight when you're weeding it. Try not to pull up anything that you need. Because if you pull up something you need, it's not going back down because it's not a sticky carrier. So just be careful when you're weeding. I'm just going to flip her like so. You know what? I'll just fix it. I'll get these where I need it to be and then I'll fix it. Alright, so got the design place. Um, like I said, I'm going to press that 300 for 16 seconds. Get me a Teflon sheet. I do everything at, you know, like medium to heavy pressure. So we're going to do the same thing here. <laughs> See how it go. Yippee! That's not too bad. The pressure won't too bad up there. That was about medium pressure. Like, comment, subscribe. Please, please, please. <laughs> All right, so the fatty is a hot pill. Oh, ooh, nice, nice, ooh, the dimension on that thing, yeah, so I always double press everything, it shouldn't mess anything up, that's what we gonna do, we gonna double press the fatty, so what, so what, what she gonna do, just for a little bit, you know what I mean, to make sure she in there, but, okay, okay, my image could have been a little cleaner, you know what I mean? But, I don't know if y'all can see the dimension. Let me hold, let me see. Hold the horses. Alright, so here's the final product. It simply says naturally dope. Naturally dope, that's it. But let's see if we can get into this dimension here. Alright, so let's get into it. Oh, my microphone for a while. So, 
All right, so let's get into it. There's a three-dimensional raised feel to this. Um, I don't know if it's coming off. But it gives, like, it gives a real expensive feel to this. Um, I would try it again with, like, a, a design with a little bit more, a lot more going on. Detail, that's what I'm trying to say. I'll try it again with a design that has a lot more detail, but, I mean, I'm still into it. I mean... It's really cool. Naturally dope. I like the gold on it. I rocks with her. Yeah, it is. All right, so yeah, y'all. That's all I got for you. Again, here's the final product. Naturally dope. Um, My final thoughts on the Fetty. I like it. It's, um, it's, it feels better on the shirt than the brick do. It's not as heavy. I really like this Fetty. So, my vote is for the fatty over the brick. You know what I mean? Nobody was comparing them but me. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion. But, um, so yeah. There you go. Naturally dope. I'm rocking with that. I appreciate y'all rocking with me, as always. Um, you know what I like to say? Make something. I don't care what you make. Just go make it. Yeah, dig. Make up your, make up your mind and go make something. Yeah, dig. Do it for the culture. You like this t-shirt? You can find this at my Etsy store. Hit the link in the description and shoot you right over there. If you like this fatty addy addy, holla at Joe over there at the vinyl stand. The link is in the description. It says the vinyl stand link. Click on the link. Try out this B Flex Fatty. It's a tongue twister a little bit. Let me know what you think about it. Hit that link. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. Again, appreciate it, Joe, over there at the vinyl store. We did it, Joe. We did it, yo. We impressed the fatty, yo. Hey, but till next time, I'm out. Peace. Make sense.